I am from a very big family. In a big family, and nothing much to go around. Value was caring for each other, looking out for each other, sharing with each other. We continued in that direction with our kids. They were a little more fortunate than we were, but the values remain the same. When I think my grandmother, I think of a very strong woman. I mean, very strong, very independent, but the most caring woman, very giving, very selfless, and all the women in my family strive to be like her. That's why I'm here. She has battled cancer, and um, she passed away, and so I care about fighting this disease. I care about giving people a chance. The foundation started when my late grandmother got sick. We have joined up with so many other organizations to help a lot of young people. Barbados is a small community. It's a small island, 166 square miles, with a population between two to 300,000. On a per capita basis, Barbados has the second highest incidence of prostate cancer in the world. And in terms of mortality, we have the highest. Breast cancer is right up there. It's very, very crucial that there's adequate treatment. With the mortality rate being so high, you, you gotta do something. You, you, gotta, you gotta do something. We are working on the oncology department in Barbados at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I was actually lucky enough to speak with a couple patients who have undergone treatment there from the new machines and who are still actually in treatment. How's your family? And Everybody is in good shape. Mm -hmm. And how are they taking it? As I am. I think I'm the one to do the worrying if anything not there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, when my grandmother was ill, I was so worried about her. The only problem is that worrying doesn't make the situation any better. It's very true. Cancer does not only impact the patient, it impacts the entire family. And um, I just lost my mom in 2012. So I know what the family feels. And, you know, you want to do so much. Well, my husband is there and my son as well. And I know that I want to live for my son and for my husband. You see, so that's why I decided I'm going to fight this. I'm not going to fight me. I would like to say thanks on behalf of all the patients who use the machine. And particularly for those who reap some success from the treatment. Thank you. And I can only hope that I'll be one of them thank in the future. You. Oh, thank you so much. We so for me too. Thank you. Let me go. I'm gonna go. We're aiming to make a difference globally clean water. We're going to start in Haiti, we're going to do eight wells in Haiti, and then we're also going to expand and move globally and build some wells in Cambodia and Ethiopia. We're looking at health care, which we've started on. We're now moving into education and the arts. The Barbies government announced just this year that they're no longer subsidizing fees for university. Rihanna was like, if I were in this situation, I would need help. 
We're looking at grants for schools, scholarships. It's going to be full scholarships. That's how we want to do it. I have to go to university. I have to do something with my life. I have to. You know, in America, there are a million and one universities that you can go to. In Barbados, for the average student, it's University of the West Indies, which is not a bad university, but there's not everything there that you can do. Like, I want to study behavior analysis. And if I want to do that, I can't do it at University of the West Indies. My friend, she wants to do computer security. She can't do that there. I mean, they do the basic subjects, but I mean, you have to branch out. It's a small country, but it has so much potential. What excites me is that people my age, we can go out, we can leave Barbados, we can go out, we can acquire new skills, and then what we can do is we can bring it back. We can bring it back to Barbados and we can help to develop the country. And with a, with a country that has so much potential, when we bring back those skills, it's going to be amazing. I mean, who knows what's going to happen to Barbados. Boys, over here, I need someone to tell me how else do you show that you treat your friends well? Share with your friends. You need to share with your friends, right? Would I always take the bigger piece for myself? No, teacher. Come on. Would I share with your friends? Let's share. S A R E. Share. 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 I don't think it's that people don't want to give. I just think that people want to know that they are making a difference when they give. It's as simple as this. One day, you could be the one in me. Your kids, your kids' kids, your loved ones. Nobody's exempt from disease and poverty and, you know, you just never know. But we will fight for you the same way.